From Las Vegas, it's The Q. Covering EMC World 2016. Brought to you by EMC. And welcome back to Las Vegas here as we continue on the queue of our coverage of EMC World 2016. It's a pleasure to welcome to the set for the first time, <laughs> 17 years at EMC and a first time visit mm -hmm. for Beth Phelan, who's the SVP and GM of Data Protection and Availability Solutions and yeah. for Core Technologies there. And Beth, thanks for being with us. And I don't know what's taken us so long. Yeah, me neither, it's great. I'm looking forward to the conversation. Yeah, uh, general vibe of the show. I mean, it's yeah. day three, um, so you've had a, a good yeah. chance, I think, to soak in what's happened here. Just what's your take on, on what you've heard and what you've seen, what you've been a part of? Yeah, I am thrilled with the show this year. What I really like is seeing the whole portfolio highlighted. You know, every single keynote has had topics across all the products, and there's so much innovation happening. It's, it's tangible, you can feel it. There's an awful lot to talk about. So, like, well, in your space then, let's just highlight on that one. Yeah. I mean, what's exciting you right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. Well, our two big announcements this week, one, a data domain cloud tier, mm -hmm. which allows people to have long-term retention to the cloud. Um, certainly, you know, very excited about working with VirtuStream on that. And we've had a lot of requests from our customers for exactly this capability. Um, they love data domain. They want to continue to be able to expand data domain um, for long-term retention. This lets them do that in a way that's secure, efficient, and automated. It's really going to be great. Yeah, so yeah. what about those discussions? That when you say customers want this, they, they come to us, um, yeah. and then having to respond to that. I mean, so right. if you could talk about how that's gone back and forth and what how this product evolved out of that. Yeah, we've been working on this product, not surprisingly, for a while now, um, and then once we began working more closely with VirtuStream, that just fit very well um, into the whole conversations we were already working on. But what we really wanted to make sure was that we gave customers a chance to take advantage of what data domain is known for, deduplication in particular. And so the way we designed it is the data is du duplicated before it leaves data domain, so it's highly efficient. When it's stored in the cloud infrastructure, it's in deduplicated format, it's never rehydrated, and so they get the benefits of expanding to the cloud, but in the most cost-effective way possible. So that's been really, really nice, and I was just talking actually to one of the architects, and he just feels great now seeing it, having people come and you know, be as excited as they have been about the product. All right, so Beth, they bring us up to speed on the enterprise content data management piece. Yeah, yeah, so this is the second thing that we did this week. Um, so enterprise copy data management is an entirely new product um, de developed in-house within the DPaaS team. And what that got started with was we kept on having conversations with customers who were excited about self-service, but what they found was that as they give more and more people the freedom to be doing their own data protection, they were having massive copy sprawl. And at first it sounded like maybe kind of a small problem, but the more that we got into it, the more that we learned about it, we found that there's literally billions of dollars wasted with excessive number of copies beyond what's actually needed to get your best in class data protection. So, so it's going to be a, just the beginning of the journey. This is the new product, but there's a lot to come. Yeah, so, so Beth, I, we've been here for a few years, so yeah. there's some startups in this space. The one that comes to mind to me is Actifio, yep. who talked about that problem, kind of you know all the copies sprawl out yep, there and yep. reduce them back. So, you know, why is EMC coming to this now and what's different about your approach? Yeah, yeah, it's really very simple. Um, our approach is completely non-disruptive and non-intrusive. Some of the other companies that have been doing this for a while, they, they try and force fit their own structure, require the creation of additional gold copies. We just slipstream into the environment people already have and discover the copies that exist, allow people to set up new protection plans. It's not a separate entity that you have to latch onto the side. It just fits right into the infrastructures people are already working with. Mm -hmm. All right, so can you give us, uh, you know, the overall portfolio as customers are looking at this, uh, you know, how many times is this a standalone decision? How much of it is bundled with kind of uh, some of the some of the other product lines? You mean specifically um, ECDM or data protection overall? Yeah, it, it, <laughs> both? I, I guess both. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so just finishing up with ECDM, and yeah. then I'll go on to the whole portfolio. Um, ECDM leverages ProtectPoint, which is capability that we brought out about two years ago now for VMAX, and more recently for Extreme IO. And so by doing that, when you bring in ECDM bring in protect point and then also the data ends up on data domain for your secondary storage, your protection storage. So the ECDM conversation very quickly becomes a data protection portfolio conversation, which is great. Um, the second piece that I just see more and more is 
you know, the whole suite of products that we have within data protection, people are looking to be able to have what we call a target stack, where they have the same benefits that you look for in a converged infrastructure, but in your data protection space. So another um, new offering we have that we're excited about is the data protection appliance that we've done jointly with VCE, and that allows you to have a converged infrastructure for data protection, end-to-end, um, -end, pre racked pre-configured, faster time to value, another place where we're bringing the data protection portfolio forward. Okay, yeah, can you help us unpack us that a little bit? Is yeah. that like in a V-block, it stands as a separate rack, you know, how do those technologies you know, go together? It stands as a separate rack. Yeah. Um, it is developed and manufactured by VCE. Um, it is a variant of a V-block, you know, it's not a primary storage V-block, but you can think of it, it's a converged appliance, just like a V-block is. Um, the intention is that we'd be able to bring some of these advantages of converged appliances and another way of introducing this type of technology to a broad range of customers. Yeah, okay. so, so tell me, I mean, let's, if, if I'm on the, on the customer side, yeah. uh, obviously the complexities that I'm dealing with are different than what, um, how do you help me sort through yeah. where I got to get to, especially when you have this wide array of products and services yeah. and, and all kinds of different appliances. Yeah, yeah, so a piece of it is doing things like this converged appliance where you know, you're able to buy the end-to-end -end stack without having to make a lot of micro decisions. Another thing that we've done in data protection for a while is we offer the data protection suite. So you can buy the full suite of products and then as you go forward, as your product um, needs evolve, you've purchased a data protection suite and you have the full range of products at your disposal. But it seems it's almost like vitamins almost, right? You uh -huh. know, take it, I know uh -huh. this is going to be good for you. I yeah. don't want to take it. Yeah. Uh, so because you are bringing some people on who have maybe uh, strong attachments to the way things are being done or have been done. Right. You're trying to get them to a different level. Right, right. I mean, uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of conversations that we can have. One thing that people have been, um, really pleased with is there some things like a DDBEA where you have an opportunity to begin to, um, you know, maybe it's an initial vitamin, right, to begin to get and see the benefits of having a data protection infrastructure that integrates very closely to your applications, very easy to use, maybe use that in a small part of your environment, see the benefits of data domain, Maybe even you bring in a data domain virtual edition, you don't even have to purchase the hardware, you can download it. And then as you become more comfortable with it, you can expand and begin to, to use more portfolio. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, so speaking about the portfolio. I have a lot to talk about, yeah, so I know I'm covering <laughs> a bunch of things. No, I, I, absolutely, and one of the threads that's been through the entire show is yeah. how, how Flash has been modernizing everything. Yeah. What, what, what's the impact on the modern data protection? Yeah, well like I said, we just introduced um, ProtectPoint, which is integrated with Extreme IO. ProtectPoint also works with all Flash VMAX. Uh, and so one of the things that is essential is as the performance expectations get higher and higher and more is delivered with the flash primary storage rays, data protection has to keep up with that. And that's exactly what we had in mind if we worked on something like protect points because you need to be able to back up more quickly, significantly more quickly, you need to be able to recover significantly more quickly, mm -hmm. and the amount of data that you need to protect is also increasing exponentially. So what you're seeing from us is innovation that allows us to keep pace, the data protection to keep pace with the speed and scale performance people are getting from Flash. Yeah, that's great. So Beth, one of the things I hear out in the marketplace is with data domain and everything you've got in the portfolio there, yeah. data protection has a greater percent of share than EMC traditionally has had in storage. And that's yeah. bringing a lot of competition from not only the existing vendors, from the startups. So how, how does EMC stay focused? How are you, you know, doing in that competitive war out there? Yeah, I mean, and you're right. You know, data domain continues as the market leader, 67% of the market share. It's just outstanding. And what we're doing is continuing to listen to the customers and make sure that we are driving new innovation out through ways that they're comfortable with and that we're keeping data domain ahead of the curve with things like data domain cloud tier, with data domain virtual edition, and now with the data protection appliance. So basically not standing still. We're not resting on our laurels by any means. We're innovating. We have so many interesting things going on. Some of it we talked about today, some of it you'll hear about in the future. It is really, really an exciting time in data protection. So, so what is the next, you know, if you had to pick out an area, you said this is where we can squeeze a little more efficiency, where yeah. you squeeze a little more performance, a little yeah. more speed, I mean, what would that be then? Yeah, well certainly um, performance and efficiency continue to be important, but if I bring the conversation back to the copy data management conversation, what we hear is that customers want a overall view to be able to understand and have 
more um, analytical advice, insights, that help them manage their data protection mm -hmm. as part of their core IT infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So yes, we need the highest performance, the highest efficiency, but we also need to be giving people interfaces and um, information in a way that's consumable, mm -hmm. that they can make really smart decisions about their copies and their data protection. And one, just one more thing I'd add on that. At the keynote, we just gave a hint of the global view that you'll get a um, EMC copy data analytics. When you think about what customers are doing now and they're protecting storage that's distributed all over the globe, it is much more complex than it was when you had one or maybe two data centers. Mm -hmm. We need to help customers make sense of that global landscape mm -hmm. and make sure they're making the right decisions. Yeah, and especially yeah. as you look at emerging markets too, right? Whether you're in the APAC or China, right. whatever it might be. Right. I mean, how does that then play into, I'm, I'm sure it's what you're talking about here, the yep. regionalization of this and, yep. and helping people get a, a grasp on yep. how this applies to their business. Yep. Whole new layer of complexity it, though, it, it? is, it is. And as the, as the dynamics of the infrastructures become more complex, we have to make it simpler and consumable, you know, in, in direct um, support to let people manage that amount of complexity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Beth, want to give you the final word. We went through a lot of announcements, the keynotes. I know you guys have an army of people here. Give people that are, that are watching this remote a little bit, some of the, the labs, the key sessions, you know, so yeah. some of the things that are kind of special here at EMC World and in your world. Yeah, absolutely, and like you said, we're kind of winding down, so we've already had an awful lot of great sessions. Um, we've had some great um, Ask the Expert sessions, what's new in data domain is a great one for everyone to see. Uh, and also, you know, it's the full range of the portfolio. We also have VPlex and RecoverPoint as additional technology that have a bunch of great sessions happening this week. So I just encourage people to look for the data protection tagline mm -hmm. and there is an awful lot to talk about and learn about and I just can't say again how excited we are and it all fits within that data protection everywhere strategy. All right, well Beth Phelan, thanks for being here for the first great. time, yes. not the last time. Yes. Just until next time. Okay, uh, great. Thanks for being with nice us. Nice to meet you both. Beth Phelan from EMC, back with more from EMC World 2016 here in Las Vegas on theCUBE in just a bit.